Hello everyone, welcome to Ben's Experience. I've tested Bluehost shared hosting and in this video I will share with you my experience to help you understand what to expect if you choose it. In a nutshell, things that I liked about Bluehost include their easy WordPress setup process, which I found useful for beginners or first-time website owners. Additionally, I appreciated how easy it was to migrate a WordPress website from another host to Bluehost. Their method was beginner friendly and ensured zero downtime for my website. However, there were aspects I didn't like such as their customer support lacking knowledge and the numerous upsell attempts which were annoying. While the loading speeds were acceptable, given their higher prices, I expected them to be a bit faster. That summarizes my experience. If you want to support me do more web hosting reviews for you at no extra cost, just use my Bluehost link from the description below. If you want to learn more about my experience with Bluehost in details, just keep watching. Directly after completing my purchase, Bluehost redirected me to a page where they started asking me questions to build my WordPress site and customize it based on my answers. Personally, I don't prefer setting up my site this way because most of the time these systems don't address the little details. However, I must admit that Bluehost did a pretty good job. For someone who just want to launch their site in an acceptable way and as soon as possible, it is very useful. The second way to install WordPress on Bluehost was also easy because Bluehost comes with cPanel. The only drawback I found was locating the cPanel button. After that, the process was straightforward. Click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous, click Install, enter your information, click Install again and wait a moment. The next minute you will have your own fresh WordPress site that you can customize as you want. After my WordPress site was set up by Bluehost, I realized there was no SSL certificate. The second time I installed WordPress using Softaculous in cPanel, the SSL certificate was there and working fine. I'm not sure if Softaculous triggered it because I chose HTTPS or if it happened automatically. Either way, it's good that Bluehost took care of it unlike other providers where you have to install it yourself. For speed, I installed this plan bin template first along with some content in order to mimic a website. Even on my slow internet connection, opening the pages of my website was quick enough. The same was true for the control panel of my WordPress site. When I tested website speed using tools like Gmetrics, Pingdom, or and Page Speed Insights, I got different results. Having used Bluehost many times before this video, I can say that Bluehost is slightly slower than Hostinger, but definitely faster to load than Dreamhost. Transferring my WordPress site from Dreamhost to Bluehost was a straightforward process for me. The process began by navigating to the websites section, clicking on add site, selecting transfer an existing site, and then clicking on continue. I provided my WordPress link and logged into it to install the Bluehost migration plugin. And once I initiated the process and the plugin created a copy of my site, I was provided with a key that I then passed into my Bluehost account. After a short wait, all my files were successfully copied over for me. The final step involved pointing my domain name to Bluehost by updating my name servers to the ones provided by Bluehost. Daily backups are free for the first year if you opt for the choice plus plan or above. To manage your backups, go to Websites, Settings, and click on Backups. CodeGuard is the tool responsible for creating and managing your backups. As you can see, my first automated backup was created for me around 33 minutes ago. To restore your backup, 
click on the little dots next to your desired copy. After that, you will receive an email confirming the start of the restoration process. Downloading your backup to your computer can be done by selecting Prepare a Zip. The email containing the download link will be sent to your inbox. If your plan does not include CodeGuard or if it has expired, you can still create, download or restore backups from cPanel using the software called Backup Wizard. However, be mindful that Bluehost's Terms of Service clearly states that backups are not guaranteed in any way and encourages you to run periodic backups. Additionally, Bluehost is unable to create automatic backups for sites above 30 GB in size. Things that I found less desirable about Bluehost were their many attempts to upsell me on related products. Also, the number of emails they sent me was also excessive. Thankfully, the unsubscribe link is available at the bottom of their emails and does its job. Having a 24-7 live chat support system is very helpful, but the help I got wasn't good enough. Last time I chatted with a support person, it took longer than they said it would. They told me it would take 3 minutes, but it actually took 9. The support person gave me enough information for my technical questions, but they struggled to address my specific concern regarding the deduction from my refund due to registering a free domain. Even when I tried to explain my issue clearly, the support person kept saying I'd get a full refund, ignoring that domain names aren't refundable. They didn't really try to understand my side of things. I've had three bad experiences in a row with Blue's support. Compared to Hostinger, Blue's support is slower and not as good.